This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts. Follow the link below to cape.tv with a K to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. It's always a big deal to play at the Super Bowl, and these performances proved why these artists are the biggest names in entertainment. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Super Bowl Halftime Shows. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the best halftime shows throughout Super Bowl history and ranking them based on their entertainment factors, theatricality, and the performance's legacy. Number 10. Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Super Bowl 48. Damn, Bruno Mars knows how to put on a show. He rocked New Jersey's MetLife Stadium, complete with a kick-ass drum solo on a moving stage and some amazing dance moves which almost rival Michael Jackson. He was a ball of energy, exuding fun-loving confidence and mad skills. The only reason this show isn't higher is because of the random appearance of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Their music clashed with Bruno's, and it was extremely odd seeing Bruno's classy R&B-styled band hopping around with shirtless, head-banging men. Regardless, it was energetic, and the overall performance was a fantastic example of an entertaining halftime show. Number 9. Lady Gaga, Super Bowl 51 You see this right here? This is why the Super Bowl halftime show is so revered. Lady Gaga has always been a theatrical performer, and her dramatic personality is on full display throughout her mesmerizing performance at Super Bowl 51. Gaga's show was grand entertainment, including her descending from the roof and performing acrobatics, not to mention colored drones forming the shape of the American flag. There was also time for emotion, as Gaga performed Million Reasons, complete with a touching hello to her mom and dad. Giving me a million reasons, about a million reasons. If I had a, yeah, I would run for the hills. Critics immediately called it one of the best halftime shows ever, and we agree that it certainly is a contender. Super Bowl 51! <laughs> Number 8. Aerosmith and NSYNC featuring Britney Spears, Nelly, and Mary J. Blige. Super Bowl 35. It's gonna, 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 it's gonna be that. Well, this was interesting. For one thing, it seems as if the event planner simply pulled the performers' names out of a hat, because they certainly do not mix well on paper. Luckily, it worked out surprisingly well in practice. You are Aerosync. You are a super duper super group that's about to rock it hardcore. Now go and pop the mother off this hamburger stand. It all began with a scripted segment involving Ben Stiller, Adam Sandler, and Chris Rock, before NSYNC ran to the stage and performed a meticulously choreographed dance number. It ain't no lie. What followed was a hell of an odd medley of NSYNC and Aerosmith songs before everyone came together for Aerosmith's Walk This Way. It was obviously meant to pander to different demographics, but damn if it wasn't entertaining and energetic to the max. Number 7. Madonna featuring LMFAO, MIA, Nicki Minaj, and CeeLo Green, Super Bowl 46. While many people thought that Madonna was past her prime and irrelevant for the Super Bowl halftime show, she certainly showed them all up, delivering one of the most spectacular performances in bowl history. This show was pure theater. It had Roman soldiers, Madonna riding in on a golden throne, a marching band, a choir, and MIA flipping off the camera which landed her in a lot of hot water. However, it wasn't just the spectacle that was on point. Madonna energetically performed some of her most well-known songs and proved to everyone that she can still put on a heck of a show. Number 8. 
Number 6. U2 Super Bowl 36. This game was played only five months after 9 11, so Americans weren't exactly in the mood for a rousing cinematic affair. Luckily, U2 took a more subtle and emotional approach to their Super Bowl appearance. The band performed only three songs, and the names of those lost in the terrorist attacks were projected behind the band during Where the Streets Have No Name. To end the show, Bono revealed his American flag line jacket to deafening cheers from the audience. It was just what America needed at the time, and it's now rightly regarded as one of the most iconic Super Bowl halftime shows. Number 5. Beyonce, Super Bowl 47. Well, if you want the viewers and the spectacle, then there really is no going wrong with Beyonce. Queen Bee absolutely lit up the Superdome with an energetic and confident performance, complete with a kick-ass stage design and sparklers shooting from her guitarist's axe. Talk about a show that's pure fire. But perhaps the best moment came when Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams shot up from the floor to join Beyonce for Bootylicious. Twitter, naturally, went bananas. This one has easily solidified its place with the best of the Super Bowl halftime shows. When it comes to pure class and energy, there's simply no beating the queen. Number 4. The Rolling Stones, Super Bowl 40. The Stones were going into Super Bowl 40 amidst a whirlwind of controversy. Many citizens of Detroit, the host city, believed that the Stones weren't the right group to accurately portray their musical culture. Not to mention the fact that the whole Janet Jackson wardrobe fiasco, which occurred two years earlier, was still a sore spot in general for any potential halftime performer. Luckily, the Stones are always a good pick for a dependable, kick-ass show. They played on a giant stage made to look like their trademark lips and tongue logo, and rocked the house with some of their most classic tunes. It wasn't as flashy as Beyonce or anything, but there's no going wrong with a Kick Out the Jams performance. Number 3. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Super Bowl 43. Is there alive out there? Springsteen and the Super Bowl seemingly go together like beer and chicken fingers, but Springsteen had continuously turned down the offer to play the halftime show. However, he finally accepted for Super Bowl 43. And Mr. Let Me Tell Ya, it was well worth the wait. Oh. Springsteen immediately commanded the stage by telling viewers to put the chicken fingers down and turn the volume up. And he then proceeded to rock the stadium for this entire short set. The boss, like the Stones, proved that you don't necessarily need high-budget gimmicks or effects to be memorable. All you need is some timeless music, a lot of swagger, and the confidence to rock in front of hundreds of millions of people. Number 2. Michael Jackson, Super Bowl 27. The Jacksons have certainly claimed their stake in Super Bowl history, although Janet's share is probably not what she originally had in mind. Michael, on the other hand, deserves all the acclaim he's garnered over the years for his appropriately legendary performance at Super Bowl 27. Jacko was brought in to revitalize waning Super Bowl ratings, and he came through in flashy glory. Erupting from the stage, which was followed by almost two minutes of pure crowd pandemonium, and backed up by a choir of 3,500 children. It was an enormous success, greatly influencing future Super Bowl halftime shows. The whole tradition wouldn't be what it is today if it weren't for Michael Jackson. Before 
before we rock you with our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, Prince, Super Bowl 41. All along the watchtower, Prince has kept a view. Yup, this diminutive purple god set the musical standard for this biggest of jock events. Life is full of surprises. Prince took to the massive stage, which was modeled after his logo, to perform many of his most beloved jams. There was fascinatingly little overt spectacle in this show. It was just Prince absolutely shredding his guitar and commanding the stage like no one else ever has or ever will. And, rather poetically, he ended the show with a tear-inducing rendition of Purple Rain, as rain cascaded around him and his gloriously funky guitar. It rocked, it was moving, and it is, we're confident to say, the best Super Bowl halftime show of all time. This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts, where you'll find unlimited news and information on your favorite fighters and organizations. You can even watch classic martial arts and action movies. Follow the link below to CAPE.TV, CAPE with a K, to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.